All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today uh, today we're going to check out the Recurve Duel by uh, Mike Vapes and Watofo. And I got this sitting on top of the Jackaroo right now. It's uh, it's due for a, a re-wick. The Recurve Duel, we are on the download. This is the packaging that your Recurve Duel is going to come in. And uh, here's a little a little freeze frame for the uh, what the kit includes. I don't know how well you'll be able to read that. I'm going to show you everything that it comes with in a second. This is the black one. Um, so recurve dual on that. You get a little barcode action on the back here. You get a little message. Mike Bapes with Tofo. Um, yeah, so pretty pretty sweet packaging. Showcases the RDA right in the center there. The clear plastic on top so you can really, uh, really check that out. That's awesome. So let's go ahead and we'll show you what comes inside the packaging. Spare. Wide bore 810 drip tip, baggie of spares which includes some O-rings, a squonk pin, and uh, a, some spare screws. Two, what are these? Quad core fuse Claptons, pretty nice. Some uh, shoelace cotton, shoelace style cotton I should say. A instruction for the measurement on the coil lead. They give you a nice little coil cutting tool here and they give you a recommended which is uh, seven millimeters so that's cool you get a little of this and a little of that a couple bag oh well a couple a couple tools in a bag here you have a little Phillips head and an allen key for your for your squonk pin or your uh, your regular pin you can take that out user manual full of great stuff in here and of course your recurve so the recurve is a 24 millimeter RDA. On the bottom here, you can see recurve dual Mike Vapes, and you got Watofo. You can see the gold plated 510 connection slightly protruding with that peak insulator right there. Um, it's a postless drop in style build deck. It is an 810 drip tip. I showed you the spare that it comes with. Um, and uh, what else was I going to say about that? Yeah, this drip tip feels really nice. It's not as wide bore as the spare that you get, um, but it is it is really nice, and I like the uh, I like the resin that it has to it. The this other one here, um, I actually kind of uh, I dropped it, and you can see it looks like there's still some debris in there. It actually kind of like chipped, so I kind of just put it back in the bag. But as you can see, it's one of those ones. We have a O-ring on the inside there. And uh, I put a couple other 810 drip tips on here, and they, they fit pretty nicely. So I want to go ahead and put this on a mod so I can uh, take apart the rest of it. I'm putting it on the Jackaroo. I love, I love the Jackaroo. It's really nice. Um, so, all right, let's look at our barrel section. You can see six airflow slots on one side, six airflow slots on the other. And this does have internal honeycomb-style airflow that wraps right around your coils. So as you can see in there, somewhat of a domed kind of uh, barrel that we have going on here. And this is a locking barrel, so when you put it on, it does have hard stops left to right to adjust your airflow, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's that. Let's get right to the, uh, to the build deck now. Uh, like I said, the honeycomb style airflow, six on one side, six on the other. Um, you can see right here you have your Phillips heads for your to crimp your coil leads you can see your positive on this side and your negative on the other right in the center there is your pin if you uh, put in your squonk pin it'll come right from the center there and uh, on each side here you can see your wick slot so you put your wicks right down in there and um, let me just say I love dripping on this I haven't used this for squonking but I absolutely love uh, dripping on this so dual o-ring on the side you can see recurve dual there and like I said this airflow kind of hugs your coils so yeah really sweet um, easy wicking so let's go ahead we're gonna put some coils in this will be somewhat of like a long video um, I want to give a quick shout out to Twisted Timmy's coils that's what we got going on in here these have already been cut and um, we're gonna install those quickly and like like it said on your coil, if you want to use the coil tool, which is what I did, I just I've already been using this for a while, and these coils are nowhere near done, so I want to use them some more. They recommend seven millimeters, so that's what I cut these ones originally at. We're gonna loosen up our screws on each side here. Um, yep, 
one side and then let's loosen them up a little more on the other. Cool. And then we're literally just going to drop these right in. And like I said, they're already I already have these cut, so one in on one side, one in on the other. We're going to I just push them down in like that and then I'm just going to tighten them and then I'll readjust. I'm going to bring them back towards the airflow because uh, that's going to be that's going to be the best for those is bring them right close to the airflow. Um, tighten down this other side here. We are going to be using some uh, cotton bacon prime today, so we'll go ahead and we'll pull up some cotton here. I don't, I'm not a big fan of wasting, so the way I like to do it is I like to pretty much pull it right through to what I'm going to want to leave left, and then I just go ahead and I cut the other side. So these awesome slots, you're literally just going to tuck it right down in. So I'm going to cut probably right about there, and I'm literally just going to go ahead and just tuck it right in. Um, I left quite a bit as you could see, but that's okay. Maybe we'll give this side a little bit of a trim. And then we'll just go ahead and tuck that side right in as well. So yeah, we're all coiled up, wicked up. We're going to drip some, uh, some of this apple peach sour. Pretty nice. Go ahead and just get these coils in this cotton nice and saturated. Alright, so there you have it. The... Uh, the recurve dual sitting on top of the uh, the jackaroo doesn't look too bad. Let's go up top. We'll talk about it a little more. We'll vape it a little more, and yeah, all right, all right, cool. So we are back up on top. We got it coiled up. We got it wicked up. We got it juiced. Oh, bad. We got it liquid up, and it's sitting on top of my uh, my Aspen Modco Monarch, which is a 2700 parallel mechanical mod. If you do not know mechanical mod safety, I'm not going to go over it in this video, but definitely, you know, learn and then and then you know put your RDAs and whatever you like on top here. So yeah, so recurve dual. I'll give it a few vapes, and then I'm gonna brush over all the information again, tell you what it costs, and give you my pros and cons. Here we go. And this Monarch, let me tell you, this thing is hitting very hard. Dripping some of that apple peach sours, which I have not used in a while. It's tasting really good. This thing is great. The flavor is great. I keep the airflow wide open and it is awesome. Like I said, with that hard locking barrel, you just twist it left, hard locks, right, hard locks, and you can gently cut back your airflow. Um, 24 millimeter RDA, 810 drip tip. Um, you get all the extras that you know, all the all the things that you need. You get you got your tools, you got your coils, you got cotton. You even have a coil cutting tool, which is awesome. Um, squonk pin which is great if you want to squonk and this is going to run you right around 30 to 35 dollars is what I was seeing on element vape which uh, is a real is a good deal I think this is something you can go out and if you like dual coil RDAs you like honeycomb airflow you like a, a locking barrel easy to drip on maybe not this drip tip so much which is probably my only con with this drip tip is it's a little difficult to drip it's not as wide bore as the other one um, Totally forgot to mention, this is, like I said, this is the black, but it's also going to come in stainless steel, rainbow, gunmetal, gold, and blue. So you get a lot of color options. That's another pro. So quickly, pros and cons, dual coil, postless deck. You get the coil cutting tool. It's a notched top cap, if you will, so it's locking. Uh, 24 millimeters, just because 24 millimeter is great. It, it goes on everything. It's such like a standard size. One second. Oh, great. And it's got a deep uh, liquid well, if you will. It, I mean, those wick slots are pretty deep, so it can hold liquid in. It's awesome because you're, you're dripping right on your coils. Um, probably won't be able to see that, but you're, you're, you're dripping directly on top of your coils, which is awesome. My only con is going to be just for this drip tip, just that it's not as wide as the other one. But guess what? They give you another one, and it's the cool curve that it's got going on. So... If you don't like this one because, you know, maybe it's not big enough, I mean, that's a pretty big hole. I'm being kind of picky. Obviously, pros and cons are subjective to everyone. But, yeah, if, if that's too small for you, you get the other one, and it's bigger, and you can drip. So 
All in all, the Mike Vapes Recurve Dual with Watofo. This is awesome. 7 out of 10. Flavor is awesome. The airflow is nice and smooth. You get plenty of it, not too much, not too little, and you can cut it right back to whatever you like. So, yeah, I'd say if you got $30, $35 to spare, which is what I'm seeing these go for, I say you check out the Mike Vapes Recurve Dual because it might just be your new favorite dual coil RDA. There's so many awesome dual coil RDAs out there, and I think this is definitely one that you should add to your collection. So thanks for watching, guys. I uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you uh, if you like this video, you know, go ahead and give it a like. You know, throw a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you turn on the bell so you get notified every time I post a uh, video. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. Tell me why you didn't like it in the comments. I'm always trying to improve. Um, for anybody who is interested, no obligation whatsoever. Just wanted to throw it out there that I have made a Patreon. If you want to support me in doing what I do and keep seeing me do what I do, I have a Patreon. I have $1 tier and $5 tier. Um, so yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. I'll have a link in the description for that. And um, thanks for watching once again. I hope you have a good morning, good afternoon. A good evening and good night and uh, let's keep vaping guys. Recurve.